brief tutorial on how to change your uh, fuel filter on a quadrajet. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put a 1 inch wrench on the uh, filter housing nut and a 5 8 wrench on the fuel line. And then we're going to just crack them loose. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and open that line all the way up until it comes off that housing. Now it's separated. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the, uh, the filter housing apart and expose the filter. And once it's opened up, it's pretty easy to get off, so we'll just go ahead and uh, take this off. Now, a little gas might spill, that's no big deal. And when this comes out, what you want to do is you want to pay attention to where this little valve is. There's a little rubber seat there. You want to make sure you put that back in the same direction it came out, facing, facing this way, and, um, and not facing back into the carburetor. Okay, so we got that. Now what we're gonna do, we'll put that to the side, and we'll get the new filter. There's a new filter, and we're going to put it. And this is with your old one and your new one. You can obviously see one's very filthy, and one's a new one. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to put that back in. There's a spring in there, you want to make sure you don't let that pop out on you. So we're going to get that back in the housing. Okay. Put that back in there. start it and once we get it a little snug with our fingers we can go ahead and just tighten it up with the one inch wrench and uh, on my one inch wrench I went ahead and made a notch in it because it's easier to get over the, uh, the fuel line a lot of times you can get you use the open end of the one inch but um, a lot of times it'll round off so I went ahead and kind of modified that one myself and then we'll get our uh, fuel line back in there and we'll get that started finger tight. And you want to pay attention when you're putting the uh, fuel line back on that you don't cross thread it. You want to make sure that uh, the fuel line, inside the fuel line, it, it has like a conical shape uh, uh, end. And you want to make sure that it's kind of sitting on there so that you start, you start the nut and you don't cross thread it. Very important you don't do that because if it gets cross threaded, it blows up everything. In. And you don't want that headache.
unfortunately, this one um, didn't cross thread. It went on fairly easily. So we'll just go ahead and tighten this up. sure it's nice and snug and that's pretty much it now what we're going to do is we're gonna just go ahead and start it up and make sure we don't have any leaks underneath it and if we have no leaks then we're done Alright, looks like no leaks. We're all good. And that completes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.